Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are some age gap romances. I have a bunch of age gap romance videos on my channel. I'll be sure to link them down below, or I'll create a playlist if there's a lot. So um, here are 10 more recommendations that have age gaps in them. One of my favorite mafia romance authors is Neva Altaj, and I think every single one of her books has an age gap of some sort, I think, um, but I'm gonna focus just on two today. I think I've talked about her other books in previous videos. So first, that we're gonna talk about is Stolen Touches, which is book number five in the series. This one is one of my favorites. Our characters actually meet outside of a hospital where the hero is getting treatment. I believe he's an amputee and he has some other physical and mental disabilities uh, because of an accident that he was in. So he goes to the hospital for treatment and he's in the parking lot and the heroine, Malene, is a nurse there. She basically delivers a baby in the parking lot and forces this man to take off his jacket to like put over the mother while she's giving birth. And from that moment, she definitely intrigues him. <laughs> He's a mafia boss and he investigates this woman and figures out that she's actually the daughter to a rivaling mafia family of his. And he's like, oh, I know how to make her mine. So he basically forces her to marry him. And he's also like stalking her at the same time. It's yummy, it's delicious. I love this one. And the other one that I'd love to mention is Darkest Sins. This is book number nine in the series. This one's another actually stalker romance. So our two characters actually meet one night when the hero is shot and he's laying on the ground, almost bleeding out in the middle of the night. And the heroine just happens to be walking by after work and she sees him and decides to take him back to the animal clinic that she works at to stitch him up and save him essentially. From that moment on, the hero is definitely into our heroine and starts stalking her for literally to roll years and she just she wants this man to stalk her like she she wants it okay and both of these books do have significant age gaps in them just letting you know another mafia one is mafia mistress by mila finelli technically i could talk about like the duet in here because the first two books in the series are like meant to be read together because this one kind of ends off on a cliffhanger and you have to read the second book like to figure out how their romance wraps up essentially so our heroine of this story she is the daughter to a mafia man in the United States. He's kind of being blackmailed, I think, or in the dumps with a guy who lives in Italy who's like a big, big mafia man. Okay, big mafia boss man. And he's decided that this woman, this young woman, she's like 18, is going to marry his son and produce many heirs. <laughs> so basically forces her to move to Italy with them. And then when he gets to know her more, he decides that he kind of wants this young woman as his mistress instead of having his son marry her. Like I said before, you have to read the two books to like get their overarching story because the first one kind of ends off on a cliffhanger, but if you want like an alpha domineering mafia boss man who is like in his like late 30s, I wanna say, and she's like 18, you can read this one. Okay, my last like darker mafia one is Until Tomorrow Comes by Adelaide Forrest. This one is a whole series, by the way. I decided not to continue on with the series, but I really did enjoy book number one. The whole series follows the same couple, by the way. So in book number one, our heroine is I think like 15 or 16 and she's walking down the street with her cousin and this very tall, interesting man catches her eye when she's walking into this coffee shop, um, but she doesn't really think anything of it. She's like, oh, he's hot, whatever. And uh, little does she know that that is a mafia man and he is from Ibiza and has come to America to like get some mafia deal done. And when he glimpses her, he just immediately decided like that woman is going to be mine. Thus starts his giant plan that spans years until the day that woman turns 18 to make her his like literally pretending that she won this all expenses trip to Ibiza like luring her to where he lives like it is <laughs> manipulation at his finest but I could not look away from it so yeah he's like in his 30s I want to say when he first glimpses the heroine like walking down the street when she's like 16 and he's like okay I'm gonna wait till she's 18 literally the day Dang, dude. <laughs> Let's talk about some romances that are lighter in tone. This is Sweet Spot by Rebecca Jenshack. This one is a sport romance and it deals with golf. So if you haven't read a lot of like golf sport romances, pick this one up, I thought it was pretty good. Our heroine is in college. I believe she's a sophomore or a junior and her coach has not really been the best, her like golf coach. And um, she decides to get some extra practice in one day and she bumps into our hero who has been hired by the boys team the guy's team to help them with their swings. That's like his job. He helps kind of like hone in athlete skills. And he first sees the heroine hitting some balls and he's like, oh my gosh, she has potential. And he goes up to her and kind of like the rest is a little bit history. He's like, I think like um, in his early thirties and she is 
sophomore in college age I want to say that's like 20 years old so there is an age difference there and it does play a little bit into them like not being together because he thinks that he's too old for her but it ends up working itself out in the end don't worry but he ends up becoming like her coach that she hires like for herself so there's like a little bit of a forbidden aspect because like that's her coach. Next is 40 Love by Olivia Dade. Now this one is a age gap romance where the heroine is older. The heroine is a school principal and she's off for summer break and so she decides to vacation with her best friend um, but while she's out in the ocean one day her swimsuit top gets sw swept away by the current and um, there's some kids that are coming in the ocean and she's like oh crap no they cannot see me. I'm a principal. That's no not happening. No. And so the only thing closest to her to like shield her from these children is a very buff man <laughs> also in the ocean. So she like basically plasters herself to the back of him <laughs> and that's how they meet. That's how this couple meets each other. Then as our hero, he's actually the tennis instructor at the resort that the heroine is staying in. And right off the bat, he's very intrigued by our heroine. She actually gets like manipulated a little bit by her best friend to like do tennis lessons with him without her knowing like she walks onto the court and is like oh my gosh you're the one doing my tennis lesson how mortifying um but she's gonna go through with it anyway because her friend paid for the lesson so anyway it's a fun read and the age gap again does take place in the book because the heroine thinks that she is too old for him but he's like uh no you're literally perfect like stop talking <laughs> lastly i have four novellas that i would love to mention really fast first is sold to my ex's dad by casey rose the heroine needs money i think for her mother's medical bills something that she stumbles upon is selling off her virginity and she's at this auction full of a very 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 rich men and guess who's sitting out in the crowd but her ex's dad and he pays a very large sum to purchase a night with her. At first he's just doing it to like save her from these like gross men who want to use her, but he's actually been into her for quite a long time as well. So their feelings also kind of get revealed because she has a little crush on him also. So a quick, short, hot novella. Next is Winter Ward by Cassie Mint. Our heroine has been sent to our hero's house who lives in Germany to I think a study, do a study abroad program. She is a musician, she's a violinist and her like, her dad and this man that she's staying with are like family friends. So he's basically like her dad's age. He is this very, very talented musician and the heroine thinks she's gonna get all these lessons from him and learn so many things, but he's actually very grumpy and closed off and just shuts himself in his room 24 seven. But once he hears her play one night, who it forces him to come out of his room and kind of come to terms with the fact that he is becoming interested in his ward so next is swapped bride by cassie Min. so our heroine is actually having to take her twin sister's place um everyone in the world thinks that she's dead um i think like she was in some accident that left a scar on her face um and her twin sister has been arranged to marry this very powerful man and uh her sister's off somewhere and so she really wants to save her sister's skin so she pretends to be her sister but ends up falling for her sister's fiance because they've never met at this point and they're identical twin sisters anyway they end up falling for each other and when the sisters finally switch he immediately notices this is not the woman that I've been falling for, that I've been talking to. There is an age gap, obviously. My last book to recommend and my last novella is another Cassie Mint. Okay, I read a lot of Cassie Mint. Cassie Mint has a lot of age gap romances, by the way. So this one is Dad Bod Dreams. This is a best friend's dad romance. So he's actually hosting the heroine in his house. Like during the summer, she's staying in his home with him. Um, like nothing's going on though, obviously. Um, but then feelings kind of happened between the two of them. He's a very famous musician and plays at clubs a lot at night. Anyway, I don't want to go into details, but you have a plus size hero with an age gap, best friend's dad, like recipe for a fun time. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some age gap romances for you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a green heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.